Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Maddie. I'm a reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And in today's video, I'm talking about eight Bolo brands. If you do not know what a Bolo is, it is a brand that you should be on the lookout for. These are the eight brands that I'm looking for in 2024. If you are new to my channel and you want a little bit of background on me, I have been reselling since 2019 and currently my reselling model is to buy as inexpensively as possible those bread and butter items that are going to only garner like 15 to 25 dollars and then to sell them as quickly as possible. So for me, a Bolo is a brand that I'm willing to pay up for that's going to sell for $40 or more and is going to sell pretty quickly. Some of the Bolo brands on this list I've sold before and I'll talk about my experience with them. And then some of these brands are like on my dream list that I'm still looking for and I have yet to find in my reselling career. I am going to include the styles that sell the best in these brands and then also pop up a picture of the brand tag because if you're like me, you're a visual person, you know what to seek out when you're at the thrift store. So the first brand that I want to sell more of in 2024 is Hill House. I'm going to link a video above where I actually was fortunate enough to find three Hill House dresses all in a row at my thrift store um, just a few weeks ago, early January of 2024. I would love to find more though. So if you are unfamiliar with Hill House, Hill House makes very like feminine basic dresses. I think the designs are just like very minimalistic they are just kind of like a cut and sew pattern like nothing to them really stands out so you might have actually found hill house before and just kept passing on it for me the brand tag is really what captures my attention it is a thick rectangular blue tag that says hill house on it and then often it will be accompanied by the style name anytime i see a thick rectangular tag that requires a lot of material it always makes me stop and look at it that's just me personally from my years of reselling that's just kind of a tip that i have learned so that is why i stopped on hill house in particular the nap style dress which is just a basic maxi dress that has a lot of ruching in the bodice is going to do the best the three dresses that I found earlier this year were all of the Ellie Knapp style and all three of them sold within two weeks of me listing. Two of them sold in a bundle on Poshmark for about $56 per dress and then one sold on Mercari for $72. I've also in I want to say November of 2023 so pretty recently did find a new tag seashell printed skirt that sold on ebay so that is my plug right now to cross list if you are not cross listing to other platforms i would absolutely recommend you make that one of your goals for 2024 i use list perfectly it is so easy i can cross list an item to a different platform in under a minute if you are interested in trying out list perfectly if you use my code maddie massimo you will get 30 percent off your first month. I will put that in the description down below as well just in case you're wanting to go back to it but definitely cross post because as you can see from my Hill House journey I've had a Hill House piece sell on all three of the main platforms that I use. The second brand on my 2024 bolo list is called Ace and Jig. I have found this once before randomly at a Goodwill and it sold so quickly. Ace and Jig is a brand that's really known for their like oversized minimalistic styles and in particular I see a lot of like gauzy plaid pieces. The piece that I found was a plaid piece. It was a blouse and it looked like very oversized like no real structure to it. They have all different sorts of pieces. They have cardigans, pants, blouses, dresses, etc all of them sell really well i've only found that one blouse but just looking up sold comps on poshmark i'm seeing a wide variety of things i even see scrunchies selling for 25 dollars. i can even sell t-shirts sometimes for 25 dollars. so the fact that i'm seeing ace and jig scrunchies sell for 25 really indicates that this is a great brand to be on the lookout for if you are unfamiliar with the ace and jig brand tag it is another longer rectangular tag it's definitely one that's going to capture your attention it's lowercase cursive letters and they're kind of like bubble letters 
so it really does stand out there is an ampersand in the middle between ace and jig and definitely something that is going to stick with you and your brain when you're outsourcing and that you should be on the lookout for next up we have a brand that i have never found at a thrift store or even a consignment store and that i am hunting for in 2024 even if i have to find it at the buy sell trade or consignment and it's reasonably priced i will count it as a thrifted item Cezanne is a brand that's known for like really classic feminine styles like it's the type of brand that i could see like kate middleton wearing that is just elevated beautiful feminine styles it's kind of like a super elevated like j crew or madewell where it's like they're more plain pieces but they're such great closet basics that you want them you're willing to pay up for it so i am just obsessed with this brand somehow i ended up on the Cezanne reddit page where people post what they buy from Cezanne, and then they ask should they keep or uh, return and like 90 percent of the time i'm like that is so cute keep it three words for you treat yo sell I would never personally pay retail price because it retails for a lot, but I'm dreaming. Cezanne can sell upwards of $100. Some of the dresses or more rare pieces can sell for even over $200. The Cezanne brand tag, again, we're sticking with that large rectangular tag. It's large, it's rectangular, it's white, and then it has a black lettering where Cezanne is in all uppercase black font. The next brand that I am on the lookout for, I've never found it before, well, except on Shopbop's website, Celia B. Celia B is just a really fun brand. We've talked about the other brands and how they're kind of a little bit more subdued and basic. Celia B is none of those things. It is loud, it is zany, and it is, in my opinion, adorable. It's kind of like if Miss Frizzle from the Magic School Bus was a fashion influencer, she would be wearing Celia B. The prints are often loud and in your face. They have really bright eye-catching colors and a lot of the times they do use a tie detail on their dresses to adjust the straps. Um, there are mini and maxi dresses as well. I've definitely, based on what I've seen, based on research, it looks like dresses are the main thing that Silla B does sell. And you're looking upwards of $125 for these dresses. The brand tag on Celia B does vary on how they choose to stylize it and attach it to the garment, but basically what you're looking for is these bubbly lowercase letters, and then the B is often sideways and upside down, so it's kind of like an underline of the word Celia and then upside down on it is what I'm seeing a lot of. A lot of the times it's just very punchy and it is in a pink brand tag so you're definitely not going to miss it. I mean I think you're going to be able to recognize it just based on pattern alone. I think that it's going to make you stop and do a double take but the brand tag definitely does stand out as well. The next brand at number five, it's a little bit special because it's actually a very specific collaboration piece. I've sold this collaboration twice before and both times the item got so much attention and it ended up selling so quickly for over $100. This is a collaboration that came out years ago. In fact, one of the brands on this is no longer in production, which makes this even more rare. It's a collaboration by the brand Paper Crane it's actually called Paper Crown. Paper Crane is no longer in production. Paper Crane was an extension of Lauren Conrad. Yes, Lauren Conrad from Laguna Beach in the Hills. From Lauren Conrad, it's, it was supposed to be like her more elevated line as opposed to her LC Lauren Conrad, which is sold at Kohl's. So there's Paper Crane, and then it's in a collaboration with Rifle Paper Company. You guys may have seen Rifle Paper Company has done a lot of collaborations with Keds where they just do really cute floral pieces. And basically it's the same cute, punchy floral patterns, but on a dress instead. As mentioned, I've sold two of the dresses before, and both times without even knowing what the piece was just the oversized floral pattern just caught my eye and i knew that i was onto something good so i definitely do want to find this again like i said it's super rare to find nowadays because they only produced it one time as far as i know and they've never done it again but i am on the lookout i am going on a bolo hunt i'm gonna find some good ones
My number six bolo for 2024 is a brand called Tucker Neck. This is somewhat of a newer brand and I have been fortunate enough to find it three or four times and every single time. It sells so quickly, like my mind is blown. Recently, I did find a tucker neck dress new with tags at my buy sell trade store. I paid 18 for it and I was able to flip it really quickly for $65. I honestly could have held out for even more, but I like the profit margin. It looked good to me and I was comfortable with selling it just because it sold so quickly. If you're someone who has a little bit more patience, you could have made me even more. Anything by Tucker Nuck does really well, but in particular, I have had the best experience with the Tucker Nuck dresses. They're just kind of going back to the elevated basics. I think that Tucker Nuck is appealing to a lot of people because they're feminine without being overly girly. There's not a lot of like ruffles like this. It's just more like just a simple silhouette that a lot of people are going to find themselves being comfortable in. A lot of the times they use like Pima cotton and really great materials to justify the price tag. You're probably going to get like $60 plus per piece. And basically I would pick up anything except for the Tucker Nut Target collaboration, obviously that's not going to sell for big money. Tucker Nuck's brand tag is again another rectangular tag. It is all uppercase letters and it is definitely something that I could see someone just like going right past because nothing really stands out about it. Number seven is a brand that I have never found before but I really want to find it. Anytime I see another reseller find it, I am so happy for them and that is called Aviator Nation. Aviator Nation is basically just athleisure wear. A lot of the times they have um, very specific prints that are like very colorful prints. It kind of reminds me of Spiritual Gangster when it first came out. But for whatever reason, Aviator Nation has kept its resale price, whereas Spiritual Gangster is now in the toilet. Poor old blue. When it comes to resale, it does terrible. Aviator Nation is known for making sweats, t-shirts, and a lot of them do have either like a stripe or a lightning bolt, which is a lightning bolt kind of gives me the ick. If you're a Vanderpump Rules fan, you know what I'm talking about the worm with the mustache. But a lot of the pieces do have a lightning bolt on them and they're just really basic looking to me. They look like something that I could design, like print on demand, but hey, if it sells, it sells. I don't have to personally be a fan of it for it to sell. So although I don't really get it, I definitely think that it is something that you could like bypass on accident. The brand tag again is a large rectangle and it says Aviator Nation. It shows the sun setting on a lot of the tags and then it's got like a really long description on how best to wash the garment. Another thing to keep in mind about Aviator Nation is that they do also make kids clothing and based on what I've seen, the kids clothing does really well on the resale market which is kind of like a rarity. And the last and eighth bolo that I am looking for in 2024 is called House of CB. I have been fortunate enough to find House of CB, I think two or three times. One dress in particular really stands out to me. It was this all sequin black dress and it had like the exposed cups in the neckline and it was a very eye-catching mini dress and Oh my goodness, it got so much attention. Like I think I, it got like 50 likes in a week. Like it was crazy. House of CB is really known for the like going out, very tight, clubbing style dresses. It's basically Fashion Nova without the fast fashion like a well-made Fashion Nova piece that's a little bit more classy than what Fashion Nova designs, but it's definitely a piece that probably like a younger 20 to 30 something year old is going to gravitate towards because a lot of the pieces are very short. They are designed to show off your figure. I guess maybe another way of putting it is like if Skims ventured into going out dresses, that's what I would think House of CB is like. 
House of CB is going to be a longer rectangular white tag. It is all lowercase letters. It says house and then in really small print it says of and then in bigger letters again it says CB. So it kind of looks like it says house CB. In a house of CB dress you are looking at upwards of $75. So those are my eight brands that I am on the lookout for in 2024. Cross my fingers for me. My fingers are crossed. My toes are crossed. I am looking for these. I am hunting for them. Let me know in the comments down below what is on your bolo list for 2024. Do we have this kismic energy where we have overlapping brands? Do we? If you did enjoy this video and you found it helpful at all, please do make sure that you give it a thumbs up and you hit the subscribe button. I appreciate you watching and I will see you next video. Bye.